This Mercury Retrograde is going to be like explosive, you guys. This Mercury Retrograde is not like any other Mercury Retrograde, okay? This Mercury Retrograde did not come to play. What is up, my fellow spiritual weird ones out there? And welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Tawny Michelle. And we do all kinds of cool spiritual shit here on this channel. So if you like spirituality, astrology, tarot, then this may be the place for you, okay? So make sure to subscribe subscribe before you leave make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below because it really helps out my little channel over here i really do appreciate all of your guys' support and love on all of my videos lately in this video today we are going over this crazy intense ass mercury retrograde that is happening in the sign of libra september 27th but the actual cycle actually started on september 6th i said actually two times don't shoot me this mercury retrograde is not like like any other mercury retrograde okay this mercury retrograde did not come to play and is not coming to play okay we're gonna go into why what you can prepare for i'm also gonna make some worldly predictions on what we're gonna see in the world and what you could see in your own personal life and how to move through these really intense deep somewhat dark energies over these next few weeks because that's what this retrograde is really actually pushing us towards how we can go within and get deep and address the roots and the cracks in the foundation rather than just the surface level bullshit so yeah it started on september 6th it's actually going to retrograde and get into its retrograde motion on the 27th and then it will stop retrograding on october 18th also really quick before we start i know <laughs> i'm doing a sale right now 18 percent off all of my readings it was for the month of september september's almost over so that sale will be ending soon so if you want to take advantage of that see the description down below also follow me on instagram i post daily on there and i post a lot about astrology what's going on in the world and then also i have a patreon where i post exclusive content everything's linked below anyways let's go ahead and get into this shit show this is like if you kind of think about it in like a broader sense it's like the the best metaphor that and this may seem like kind of goofy but like the best metaphor i can give for this is you're at an opera and a bunch of people hijack the opera i think that actually happened in a movie now that i think about it that i saw it basically you're at like this really amazing opera and there's like opera music big charming place and it's super super nice all of a sudden because the place or the people that have ties to the place were involved in some corrupt shit the whole thing comes crashing down there's a bunch of like crazy shit that gets exposed and people are panicking and trying to get out yada 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 i know that may seem like super extreme and gruesome but like it's just a metaphor for this mercury retrograde and libra square pluto and capricorn speaking of squaring pluto and capricorn and that's what makes this mercury retrograde so intense and then on top of that the ruler of this mercury retrograde venus is in Scorpio. Also a very intense, deep, dark, emotional sign. Basically, we have these themes kind of interwoven in this particular Mercury retrograde where we are going to see a theme of darkness, corruption, depth, psychological shit, crime likely as well. A lot of these predictions are going to be worldly predictions, but some of them will be more on a personal level. So do just keep that in mind. Some people may feel this a little bit more than others, especially if you have a cardinal rising sign. So if your rising sign is in Aries, Libra, Cancer, Capricorn, you are going to be feeling this Mercury retrograde the most. I would also venture out to say Scorpio as well, Pisces risings as well, also Taurus rising but those are like the the second group of signs that could be feeling it the most basically and those are going to be more geared towards your rising signs so first let's go over a mercury retrograde the best way that i like to explain it is like you are walking down the sidewalk right like you're going from your house to the store you leave your house you're walking down the sidewalk and then realize that you dropped your keys but you don't know exactly where you dropped them so you have to turn around and kind of like retrace your steps and figure out where the hell did I lose my keys? And while you're coming back around, you're noticing things that you didn't notice the first time because you're having to be more vigilant. You're having to look on the ground, look at the details. Are my keys here? Are my keys there? But you're seeing them from a different angle since you're turned around and walking the opposite direction. So then you finally find your keys and then you move forward again. You go back going the way you were before to go to the store. And so that's like Mercury retrograde, right? It goes forward, it moves back, and then it goes forward again. 
But during that reversal phase, we really reflect upon things and see things differently and notice new things that we didn't notice in the first phase of it. Yeah, that's basically Mercury retrograde. It's a reversal. Anything with a re in front of it. It's a time for reflection, reversals. We are really going back and looking at things in a new way. And that's why people say it's not a great time for starting anything new, at least brand new. You know, if you're going back to something you've already done before, then it's a great time for that. But it's not a great time for doing anything permanent because you may realize I forgot something or I didn't see it this way before or your mi mind may change. You know, Mercury rules over the mind. And that's another thing. What does Mercury rule? The mind, communication. Mercury in the zodiac is the messenger. And so that's why a lot of people say, you know, don't sign any contracts. That's why we see things going like haywire with technology or forgetfulness. So when Mercury goes retrograde, there's a reversal of mind right? There's a changing of mind. There's a new perception is found, especially in Libra, right? What does Libra deal with? Libra deals with opposite sides. It deals with others, relationships. It is a air sign ruled by Venus. Air signs are very social and very mental and intellectual. When you have an air sign ruled by Venus, the planet of beauty and love and harmony and connection, this air sign is very warm and inviting. You know what I mean? Libra is very charming. Libra deals with the higher arts. That's why I was saying an opera. So yeah, Libra also starts us into a new season of fall. Libra is ushering in the other side. Libra really deals with bringing opposites or polarities together, so dark and light. And Libra helps show us the side that we are not seeing. So what the fuck does this mean? Basically, this Mercury retrograde in Libra square Pluto is a massive expose. I mean, this is like intense and destructive exposing of truths, okay? This is extreme. And that's why like anything that Pluto is involved in, it's going to add a deeper layer, a stronger intensity that we're all gonna be feeling collectively. It's also going to add like a level of fear and panic and crisis collectively, especially with the square to Pluto and Capricorn. And as I've been saying for years now, Pluto and Capricorn is really unearthing corruption the crime, the darkness of those in power, and the foundations that hold up our world. Pluto in Capricorn is really exposing what is underneath of this shit that we think is solid or that we think is stable that is actually not. It is exposing crimes from the elite, from the authority, from those in power, from the big businesses, the banking systems. All of these things are being unearthed and will continue to be unearthed over the next few years. But this is a really big deal. Another really interesting thing that I mentioned in my New Moon and Pisces video is Mercury is retrograding. Like literally at the same degree, it's going retrograde on the same degree that it actually went direct on, that it started its retrograde cycle on last year in October and November, which was the cycle we were in for the election and why the election was so delayed and messed up and like all this information was flying around everywhere. No one knew what the fuck was going on. And I'm not here to debate whether you believe whatever the fuck about the election. I'm just here to tell you that this is a pattern. And so I wouldn't be surprised if something that happened around that time period last year came back up to almost show the before or something leading up to it. So that's gonna be really interesting, I think, and I'm interested to see if anything comes up from that time period. Also, another thing that we can expect are major reversals of anything that's happened from September 6th to October 18th, which happens to be my birthday, by the way. So I also do expect that we will see reversals on a lot of the information that's came out, including a lot of the mandates and a lot of information information that's came out due to the pandemic and due to the you know what. I expect there will be a lot of revising, revisiting, reversals, reflecting, redoing on those things. So we'll have to wait and see. There will be other sides revealed that we didn't know, new information coming out, seeing the other side to something, being like put in the other side's shoes or being put in other people's shoes in some way because Libra has a beautiful way of doing that. I, I think another side will come to light and I think holes and corruption, secrets, crime, 
deep hidden issues will be revealed that causes some kind of reversal or reflection that maybe disturbs the peace or messes up the balance in some way. I think we will see a lot exposed about unfair, unjust, corrupted, restrictive, and oppressive structures and authorities as well. We may also see a large theme of equal rights, gender roles, uh, equality. I mean, I this marker retrograde is going to be like explosive, you guys, especially for imp information and exposing deep corruption. I think something may go public or there may, may even be a, a certain legal case that becomes very big or maybe multiple legal cases. I think the law will be or laws being broken will be exposed whether by someone in power or whatever. I think we're definitely going to see some kind of criminal behavior though exposed in government, authority figures, big businesses, big corporations. But some more darker stuff that I'm going to get into for a sec that I think will also happen. We also may notice a certain level of intellect dominance or forcing people to make decisions that they don't want to make. You may also see sex scandals and people of authority or the elite rich and powerful involved in some kind of sex scandal. We will also probably see extreme propaganda, slander, threats, psychological warfare, extreme stories coming out in the media, extreme threats as well. So yeah, so next I'm going to get into how this is affecting the US because I think it's really, really interesting. So Mercury is going to be retrograding in the U.S.'s 11th house in Libra while it is squaring Pluto in the second house for the U.S. And so this is definitely going to involve the economy or finances or the central banking systems in some way. Whatever the U.S. owns and also allies to the U.S. because the 11th house is the house of allies, groups, or social acquaintances. So this will definitely be like business acquaintances. So I think that we will definitely be seeing possibly deep corruption or a hidden side or even like a reversal or change in the the U.S.'s allies in some way, shape, or form. Mercury is also, <laughs> when Mercury goes retrograde, it's also going to be trining the U.S.'s moon in the third. So this is definitely looks like something going public, some kind of you know, expose of sorts being revealed to the citizens of the U.S. And this Mercury retrograde is also going to be squaring the U.S.'s eighth house, uh, Mercury. And so I think that this is definitely, definitely going to bring up business relations, financial relations, the economy, what is of value, what we own of value, or what the U.S. owns of value in relation to other countries and other, you know, foreign allies and their uh, assets and their money. So massive reversals, dark truths coming out, uh, financial corruption, control, groups of people rising or standing against something that is unjust or unfair. Definitely, possibly sexual scandals extreme propaganda, all of that shit, uh, I would not be surprised to see. Social causes, e equal rights, equality, things like this are definitely going to be pretty big and uh, certain people empowers relations and relationships with others I think will also be exposed or cause called into question in some way. Hey, you guys, editing me here really quick. I just wanted to add one more prediction that I forgot to mention in this video, but I did mention it in my full moon video, but I wanted to reiterate that I think we will see two different sides, two opposing sides, two opposite sides that may have been at odds with each other in the past, possibly joining or coming together for a common goal, a common interest, or finding common ground in some way. Basically a reversal of sides or like the tides turning. So watch out for this as well. Okay, so now we're at the part of the video where I'm gonna tell you what you may see in your personal life. So you can better be prepared for this Mercury retrograde. This is no matter what sign you are, you're going to see these themes to some degree. So just remember that. So like I was saying, there is a psychological darkness to this. This is exposing our shadow and not only our shadow in ourselves, but our shadow when it comes to relationships and how we interact with others. Basically the line or the boundary between self and other and our relationship dynamic are going to be huge around this Mercury retrograde. We are going to definitely see the shadow side of 
how we deal with our relationships, our behaviors, our patterns, and where they go deep within and where the cracks are in order to deal with those things, where we have certain triggers or where we have where we need to set certain boundaries. We may also be fueled to do something uh, very triggering to others or to cave into our own like shadow traits and fear within our relationship. So this can definitely be some really penetrating insight into relationship issues, triggers and fears. You could see a level of manipulation, double standards and hypocrisy we could see our own secrets or our own dark truths coming out or other people that are in our lives. We could also see a fear of those darker thoughts or those darker feelings or urges. And so it's going to be really important to address those, to do the shadow work. And I have a whole video on shadow work going extremely, extremely in depth on how to do it with one of my uh, good friends here on YouTube. So definitely go check it out if you have not seen that video already because it really goes into the thick of it and really gives you some like actual real practical examples and ways of doing shadow work that's not just like super vague so we may be feeling dominant towards others or we may notice others are being dominant towards us there could definitely be power dynamics that get brought up here criminal behavior exposed and someone in our lives we could also have mental struggles obsession a lot of just shadow shit coming up uh, harmful or derogatory communication thoughts we could find ourselves getting involved in other people people's conflicts or getting wrapped up in other people's conflicts or drama, intense negotiation, playing the devil's advocate, being controversial, but in an elegant way because it's Libra. And also we could really like the really cool part about this retrograde though is we could see things from a side that we weren't able to see things from before. Like we could be getting put in an opposite position to see something clearer or to get the whole story on something that we thought was one way, but maybe it's another, you know? But Either way, our relationships are going to go through some really intense and deep psychological changes over this next month. So just prepare for that. There will be intensity. There may be drama. There may be change. You have to make sure that you are not becoming what you hate or that you're not becoming what you think you're fighting against, right? Because that's a lot of the problem with this that I think is going to come up for many people where our whole lives we've always been against something or felt like you know we didn't want to become something or we didn't want to be something but our behaviors are doing exactly that right and so we do have to be careful with that um, some other things that come up could come up are sexual crimes secrets or other people's secrets or digging up secrets and dirt on others we are really being forced to rethink how we are managing things within our lives in some way where are we being divided where do we think somebody is opposite to us when really there are more similarities than we realize. Where do we need to face and address certain fears within us that are crippling us or that are causing our mind to do strange things or not consider things? Where are we trying to gloss over something really deep or a really deep issue that needs to be addressed, whether within ourselves, within our relationships, or within the world? You know what I mean? Where are we trying to just keep the peace and conform, but deep underneath of that, we know and feel that there is something deeper and darker at stake here, that there are more crucial things that are happening. You know, where do we need to speak our truth? So yeah, for this crazy ass intense Mercury retrograde, it is definitely a time to get deep. It is not a time to try to gloss over things or cover, cover you know, something broken up with wrapping paper and think that that actually fixes the problem. You know what I mean? It's like we have to get deep. We have to address the deep-seated issues and we have to play in the darkness for a little bit in order to find the light. We have to be able to face the dark within um, to face the dark without. And I think that is what this Mercury retrograde is really uh, bringing up for all of us in some way, shape, or form. And I really go into like depth on how to do that in my shadow work video again. So if you haven't seen that, once again, 
definitely check that out. So that is basically all for this Mercury retrograde video. I hope this was helpful for you. Definitely keep me updated if you guys see any of these themes over the next month. I would really, really like to know. It really helps me out to hear your feedback and where you're seeing these themes in your life or in the world. Um, make sure to comment down below or you can always reach out to me on Instagram if you do see any of these themes. I would really, really like to know. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in my other videos and also in the October videos uh, coming within the next week. And yeah, bye. Face the darkness because either fucking way, whether you face it now or not, it's going to come back up and it's going to build these this next month if you don't. If you don't get to the root of this shit and you keep trying to gracefully like smooth it over, you know what I mean? It's it's not doing anything. You have to really get to the root of it and really face the unresolved issues within yourself. And they will be, I feel like they're very apparent, right? Um, the problems coming up right now, do not think that they're just problems from right now, right? Like they're just recent problems. No, they are way deeper than that. They're a manifestation of something way deeper that you've likely been doing for a long time, right? And they likely come from childhood or when you were younger. And so you have to get to the root of it. You have to face the fear because if you don't, it will keep building in certain situations to project that mirror. Like I said last week, Libra is a mirror, like a fun house. It will keep projecting outside of you and you will keep thinking it's unrelated or whatever, but it's not, it's related. Okay. So